What's going on guys? It's Quasi Dog here and we are back after a dead battery because you know what? We are covering today the full product lineup from Hisense for 2021. This information is all notated on my laptop, so I'm gonna be interacting and giving this screen a little bit more love and attention than you guys, but this was a lot of specs for me to remember and jot down. We've covered probably like 15 different products so far, but today's video is gonna focus on the laser TV systems for 2021. Uh, all of this information is from the Hisense at Home conference that took place today on May 5th. And thank you guys for all of your love and support on previous videos that actually got me an invite to the digital event. So that was very awesome. I have some specifications to go over here. We do have two, four, six models that we will be taking a look at. Some have been on the market already and some are coming, but just to go over them kind of very quickly from start to finish from what I would call, I don't want to say worst to best, but maybe they're uh, slightly lower end comparatively to their higher end, uh, we will be doing that. And again, a smart TV is different than a laser TV because a laser TV is a short throw projector. So this is something that will actually throw an image up to 130 inch in this product lineup for 2021. Um, some come with screens, some don't, um, but these are fantastic for people that wanna go beyond that 85 inch wall, which we're going to see in the TV lineup this year. Historically, it's been, I think, 75 for them previously. So first we're gonna be looking at the L5F. This one we did see last year, late last year, and then it's coming into the 2021 fold as well. This will come in two different variants, both a 100 inch and a 120 inch. Um, the 120 is going to be labeled as laser cinema, and we're gonna see that kind of extend across all of their larger screens as far as the label, laser TV smaller, laser cinema slightly larger. Now, uh, the screens themselves, we are going to see a hard screen for the 100 inch and a soft unassembled screen for the 120 inch short throw. We are looking at 4K, 60 hertz, of course. I don't even know if we can do 120 in a projector, so 60 is just to get that out of the way. It's gonna be across the board on the whole product lineup. Uh, we have static contrast at 1000 to one and a luminance of 2700 or brightness at 350 nits for the 100 and then that's gonna actually lose a little bit of brightness as we stretch that up to the 120 inch at 200 nits. Um, so it's color gamut it is DCI P3, 83%. Um, you're gonna see that again until we get to some of the higher end ones that actually have much, much better color ratings. But if I'm not mistaken, the L5F and what we're gonna talk about with the L5G and L5G Sonic screen, those should all be using um, the DLP color wheels on them. So those only get so good. Um, no Dolby Vision support across any of these as far as codecs are concerned. Um, really not a whole lot, no filmmaker mode or anything. We'll talk about what that is a little bit later. Um, it does have HDR10 and it does have HLG. Uh, audio enhancements, it does have D-Box TV and Bluetooth audio. It works with Alexa, Google Assistant, um, no AirPlay certification on that guy there and Chromecast built in. All of these across the whole product lineup as well are Android TV, so don't really need to mention that as we kind of continue to go on. Um, that's pretty much it. You have like uh, the eye protective screen, so that's really cool on these short throws. If you don't know much about them yet, uh, they have the ability to sense whether or not you're looking down and onto the laser. If that little proximity sensor is covered, then the light turns off to make sure you are not burning out your retinas. Um, so moving on to the L5G, again, we have that 100 and 120 hertz. We have the laser TV and the laser cinema, respectfully. Um, pretty much all the same stuff on this one, but being that the G version is the 2021 newly released model, not something that you could get in 2020, this is where we do have that new filmmaker mode for the picture profile. So really interesting to see where that's gonna go. I'd like to try to either get first hand on that or maybe see some more information on how that's gonna work. We have uh, HDR10, we have HLG, and then 
In a short throw, something very interesting, we do have the auto low latency mode as well. Um, these going forward for the rest of the product lineup, again, not with the L5F, but going with the L5G and everything that we talk about on the other four models, this will actually have HDMI 2.1 with eARC support. Um, Bluetooth audio is on there as well. Um, let's see, notations. I mean, Android TV is across all of these, so no need to kind of double down on that. Um, now what's cool is with the built-in application that you get on iOS and Android, this does have the ability to actually auto adjust your focus, which is super, super cool. Um, so if you're a novice for stuff like that, no worries at all, you can actually have that help you out. Uh, we now have the L5G with the Sonic screen. So kind of interesting stuff here. We're gonna see again, color gamut, DCI-P3, 83%, like all of that stuff is all gonna be the same as the regular L5G, but we're actually seeing the Sonic screen. And I think this is something again, that might be new to market for 2021. I don't recall any of the previous 2020 models having Sonic screen in any way. So. Uh, we're gonna delve in in another video about exactly what that is and how it works. Um, this is just nitty gritty specifications for you nerds that are kind of wondering exactly how all of this stuff is going to work. Um, now, doo -doo 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 -doo. the L9G, this is a 100 inch, 220 inch flavor. Again, laser TV and laser cinema, respectfully hard screen and soft unassembled screen. Whereas by the way, the Sonic screen is all like hard screen, 110% the whole way. Um, 4K, all of this is about the same. Now this one, the L9G is actually where we're starting to see some better color gamut. So moving forward with the L9G, we're gonna talk about the pro version and the L9X as well, which is their flagship cinema console. We will actually see these guys running a BT 2020 98%. So super, super cool there. Filmmaker mode is gonna be debuted across this whole product lineup with auto low latency mode, HLG and HDR10. Uh, no Dolby Vision support. I think that's just because of the nits that we're pulling. That's a very picky um, uh, Kodak or color gamut to try to actually get into. And I don't know if we're gonna see that on laser TVs or projectors for the next little while. If we do, it's, I don't wanna say it's falsified, but you really need to be pushing a lot of nits to be able to actually pull that off. Um, we do have that auto calibration and everything moving along in the specifications there as well. And then we do have the uh, L9G Pro. This is the 120 inch only laser cinema. This has the soft unassembled screen. And from what I can see in the specifications listings that I have, the only real difference here is that this actually has like the built-in subwoofer and stuff like that, that wireless subwoofer to give you this cinema experience. Other than that, the specifications all look to be the exact same. And then we're gonna conclude as well with kind of their flagship model. This is the Laser Cinema Console, also known as the L9X. Now this is going to be able to go to 110 to 130 inch. This will not be coming with a screen. So BYOS, bring your own screen folks. But we're gonna see this kind of cover that gamut between 110 inch and 130 inch all with one model. So it's not two different devices. Uh, BT 2020, 98%, still the exact same thing here. Uh, we've got a um, brightness rating of 1700. So little bit lower than the 2800 on the L9G, L9G Pro. And really the Pro is just the regular one with a subwoofer. Specifications are all the exact same. Filmmaker and everything that made everything else very well similar is going to be on the L9X as well. Um, we have the audio auto low latency mode. We have HLG support. We have HDR10. All of that stuff that you're looking at again, HDMI 2.1, eARC is present as well, Bluetooth audio, everything like that. Um, I'd love to see one of these screens in person because the, the issue with a, a live event, something that I had the opportunity to take a look into again being today the day of release where we got all of these specifications is I, I 
I don't know how well that's translating through camera and then through my display and then into my eyeballs. You've got so many different variables with bitrate and things like that as well, kind of compressing that signal across uh, digital delivery. So I'd love to see one of these. I'm in New Brunswick myself in Canada and we don't really have high-end cinema shops here that will showcase these. I know last year the L5F was showcased in some higher-end brick and mortar, I think in Montreal and kind of going towards Ontario in the Western area as well. Um, I think Visions Electronics had it. Here, I have a Best Buy and a Walmart. You best believe that neither one of them are probably gonna put one of these on display. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll look into getting one. Who knows, I don't know. Um, pricing and availability, I'll put in the uh, description as well as the pinned comments as well when I know more. But for right now, this was just a nitty gritty getting into like the specifications of the 2021 release. We also have some other videos on the channel right now with the information that I was able to pull on the TVs. And if I backtrack my notations, we have some dedicated coverage on that dual cell TV we've all been waiting for, now known to be called the U9DG. We have the U88G and then we have the U78G and everything else kind of going all the way down to like 720p TVs. They're still making them. They're like 32 inch. Um, definitely a far cry from a 130 inch laser TV that's in this video. I've been recording these. I've gone through two batteries. It's been like two hours and I've hopped up on coffee and G Fuel. So that's it for today's video. If you'd like to go ahead and give it a like, uh, if you appreciate content like this, definitely, definitely help me out and share that because it's your viewership and interaction that actually got me the invite for 2021 for the Hisense at home. So if you wanna see more TV coverage from them or from other brands, it's all in your hands. Share this, like this, and interact with it because that's how we get these opportunities. Until my next video though, my name is Crazy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.